I'm Lady B. Welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome, welcome. And what recipe is on review today? Well, this recipe is called summertime tea. Oh, well, Lady B, it's not summertime. Nah, it's not. It's springtime. But I'm in New Orleans and sometimes it always feels like the summertime. But I hope that this recipe gets rid of that COVID corona quarantine blues. If you're bluesing. Okay, and this recipe is as follows. You're going to have 14 cups of water divided. I got um, 10 cups of it here already in the pitcher, and I have four cups down here in the pot. You're going to also have, which is optional, and I'm saying optional, you have a cup of tequila. That's optional. You're going to have some fresh mint. You're going to have lime or lemon. I chose the lime. You have a cup and a half of sugar. You have a half a cup of frozen lemonade from Concentrate and also a half a cup of frozen orange juice from Concentrate and six tea bags steeping. So I have the large iced tea tea bags, so I only use four in this recipe. I'm going to cut up the other um, lime really quick. I pray that you guys are being safe and distanced. I pray that all of you are making it through this and no one is going through any kind of depression, any kind of um, stir crazy, locked in situations. What I said, this too shall pass. I know that we are all going to be victorious in this situation. And guess what? If you guys are back with me this week, I'm happy you guys back with me. So that means, guess what? We're still here. We're still making it. And guess what? Thank God. If you like what I'm doing in this kitchen, don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Help me out. Tell your people about me. So I got that all together. So this is a quick recipe. It says to chill, uh, serve it chill. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to drink it to let y'all know if I'm going to eat it or leave it. I want to eat it. Y'all know I want to eat it. So we're going to drain those tea bags. They've been steeping for longer than a three to five minutes. Oh, and let me back up a second. It's coming from that cookbook, Taste of Home, Most Requested Recipes. I wanted to try this drink. So here we go. I'm going to add the four cups of tea to those 10 cups of water. Then you're going to add all the other ingredients in. I hope this tastes good because... Who don't like lemonade and tea? So let's see what we're going to get. And I told you guys the tequila was optional. I am opting to have it in mine. I am going to put some tequila in mine, but you don't have to. Okay. And guess what? If you guys try the recipe with or without the tequila, hit me up in the bottom um comment section and let me know how you like it. Let me know if you took it uh with or without and if you cared for it okay now let me take and stir this up Woo! now that tequila strong now that was just a cup a cup of tequila but i can smell it gonna stir that up Woo -woo! you know what it puts me in the mind of uh long island tea and i remember when i was younger i thought long island tea was actually iced tea and somebody brought me a young a long island tea and I would not drink two sips of it and they got offended. <laughs> but now I'm going to taste this. So I'm going to mix that up. Okay, let me get some of this stuff out of my way really fast. I'm going to take and um, put some of these limes. I already rinsed the limes and everything. So just going to add them in. Get that together. I'm going to add some um, mint in. The mint was just going to be a, a a garnish. I'm just trying to find some better pieces. I don't want to waste nothing. So I already had some um, mint in there. So I'm going to drop some of that in there and stir that around a little bit. And I'm going to tell you guys how it tastes. Now I'm going to try it now. But it says to let it chill. But I don't have time to do that today. So let's see. And what we looking for? We looking for a eat it and not a leave it. Because that tequila wasn't cheap. Had I wouldn't add that tequila, I'd be all right. Let's see. All right. 
Take it. Not bad. I'm gonna let KP taste it. Mmm. So it puts me in the mind of an Alma Palmer. Did I say that right? Arnold. Arnold Palmer. It puts me in the mind of an Arnold Palmer. But it's not bad. The tequila. A little bit hot right now. Because I didn't let it chill. What you think, B? You gotta say it. What I taste no liquor. You can't taste the liquor at all? Oh, okay, so see, he that's used, a good thing. He didn't taste the liquor, so that's I a good thing. Drink. But I will tell you this: he don't drink anymore. He used to, so if he don't taste the liquor, but this reminds me of a lemonade I used to make that creeps up on you. So don't drink too too much of it. Then jump out in the car and go to the store and go by anyone's house. But I want to tell you guys, I'm gonna call it. A, we gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. What you say, babe? For people that drink, mm -hmm. what you think about it? If without the uh. It's fine without, with or without. You think it's fine with or without. And I right. think it's fine with or without. I think it's a good summertime tea. I think it's good. You can serve without for the kids. But I can also say this. If you drink like I drink. Like he used to drink. It'll be a good mixer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he think it'll be a good mixer. So serve it up. Let me know how you guys like it. I want to tell you guys, I appreciate you guys spending a little time with me. I appreciate the fact that you guys have been watching the videos. Hit that like button, subscribe. I'm happy to have you guys here with me. And remember what I said. Here's the recipe. If it looks good in a cookbook, in this case, don't cook it, but mix it.